has ordered a forensic audit of the 2023 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exam results. Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogu says that the ministry has written to the Ministry of Information, Communication and the Digital Economy to conduct the audit and avail results in two weeks. This follows errors that were recorded in the results. Appearing before the National Assembly Education Committee on Thursday, the CS said that the government is planning to scrap the SMS code used to access exam results. NTV's education reporter Rukia Bule has the details. Since Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogu released the 2023 KSP results on the 23rd of November, queries over errors recorded in the exams have remained unanswered. The CS appeared before the National Assembly's Committee on Education to set the record straight. Mashogu says the reason why some students received results of subjects they did not sit for was due to a technical hitch in the server when candidates were checking for the results using the SMS code. There was that mix-up in the SMS, but which was actually not, uh, uh, not in the school portal. So the official research as given to each and every school was totally correct. It did not have this particular anomaly. And this anomaly also took place in a 10-minute ten, ten period. CS Mashogu says that he has consulted the ICT ministry for a forensic audit on this year's KCPE results. I did a letter in military to my colleague in ICT to provide a forensic uh, experts who will then be able to tell us what really went wrong with the transmission of data as far as this uh, service provider was concerned. We have also done a letter to Safaricom on the same. Now, moving forward, the CS says that the ministry will develop alternative platforms where candidates will be able to access their results. Uh, we see whether we can be able to, to develop a website that the members of the public can be able to access free of charge without even paying uh, uh, one shilling or the 25 shillings. The CS also refuted the claims by opposition leader Wailo Dinga that a tender awarded to UK company was cancelled in favour of a Kenyan one based along Mombasa Road. We have not terminated anybody's contract. I would like to clear the air that nobody's contract has been terminated. Actually, exams each and every year, a contract is made. Each and every year. Appearing before the Education Committee, Basic Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang revealed that there were 133 cases in 77 schools where students were missing marks from certain subjects, particularly the languages and humanities, but insists the issue has been sorted. Chair, we have given a table of cups at the time of the release, with the highest being in 2016 when we had 10,835 of candidates having missing cups on certain marks. This year was the third lowest with 1,935. Last year, it was 2,948. So we continuously try to minimize the caps that are there at the time that we release results. Says Mashogu says that the ministry has put in place measures moving forward to ensure effective administration in marking of exams, starting with KCSC and KIPSE results. Rukia, Bule, NTV.